w a s d i k a Welcome to Hot Thai Kitchen. I have got an awesome finger party food for you today, and the inspiration of this dish actually came from the fact that I had these spring roll wrappers sitting in my freezer for the longest time. I didn't want to make spring rolls anymore, so I decided to make these crispy chicken purses. So the filling is very reminiscent of the classic Thai wonton filling, but I'm making these extra special by stuffing a little piece of cheese inside to make it extra creamy. And delicious! It's gonna be an absolute winner at your next party. Let's get started. All right, let's make the filling. I'm starting out by grinding black and white peppercorns in my mortar and pestle here, and you see me use. Whole peppercorns in my recipes quite often, and I like to do that whenever I can because the flavor is so much fresher. All right, get it nice and fine and powdery. And next, this is my little twist. I'm gonna add some toasted coriander seeds, which have a nice orangey, citrusy aroma. And in Thailand, we actually like to mix coriander seeds with meat quite often because the citrusy flavor kind of balances out the heaviness of the meat. And we put coriander seeds on beef jerky too. So whenever I smell this, I always think about beef jerky. Once it's nice and fine, I'm gonna add some garlic. Nice. It's all nice and fine. Now we're gonna blitz all this up in the food processor. But if you don't get the garlic super fine first, sometimes you get little chunks left because food processor doesn't always get everything. Okay. Now let's move on to the chicken. You can use commercially ground chicken for this, but I find that to be too lean most of the time. So I like to use chicken thigh with lots of fat, and I grind that up myself. So just cut it into small pieces, just like that, and then I add it to my food processor. And I do find that the extra fat help make the filling more juicy and less sort of dense. The herb paste from earlier is gonna go in. And you can vary the spices up. I've done this recipe using five spice powder instead of coriander seeds, and that was a little different too, and really delicious. So you know, it's really flexible. Something like this. Now the seasoning. I've got some soy sauce. I'm using Thai mushroom soy sauce, but you can use regular soy sauce. And of course, it wouldn't be me if we didn't add some fish sauce to the mix. Yeah. To help bind everything together, I'm going to add an egg. And I'm also going to add a little bit of cornstarch. You can also do tapioca starch. It's going to help absorb some of that excess liquid from the eggs, and also it helps with the texture, makes it a little more bouncy almost. Now it may look initially like it's way too liquidy, but don't worry. As you process it, the proteins become more developed, and it becomes more stiff and sticky. Okay, so stick with it. Have faith. And you want to keep going basically until it feels like the filling can hold its shape and not runny, right? And that's it, ready to wrap. And uh, while this was in the food processor, I forgot to add a little teaspoon of sugar, which is going to help balance out the saltiness. So don't be like me and add it while it was processing, and it'll make it much easier to mix. And you'll notice that there are actually still little pieces of chicken that didn't get processed. With my food processor, this is sort of the best it can do, and it doesn't really matter. I find it doesn't really affect the end product very much. All right, so I've got here some spring roll wrappers, which I have cut into four pieces. So now they are four inches by four inches, and I started out with this guy, who is eight inches by eight inches. Okay, you can find this at any Asian grocery store in the frozen section, and you just let it thaw, and then cut them into quarters. That's it. So now I am going to use a round teaspoon, so a little bit more than full. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a little piece of cheese. So I am using goat cheese that I cut into little little pieces. Now you don't have to use goat cheese if you don't like it or you can't find it. I just like it because of that tartness and the tanginess and creaminess. But I've done this with mozzarella. It's really good too. Nice and melty. It's a little milder. If you like blue cheese, blue cheese would be awesome in this. So I just cut these into squares. If They're crumbly. I just smooshed it into a little ball, and I put this in the freezer briefly, just so it's easier to handle, so it's not so soft and sticky. Put a little piece of cheese inside my little teaspoon here, 
And then I'm just going to use another spoon and cover that cheese. That's it. You want it to be very, very well encased so it doesn't leak when we fry these. I'm just going to transfer all that, so dig it out and put it on to your spring roll wrapper. And then this is super easy because the chicken filling is already quite sticky. You don't need any glue, any eggs, any water, anything. And I'm just going to bring the corners together and then give it a little squeeze there. You just want like a ruffled, you know, messy little purse. And when this fries up, this part's going to be super crispy and the chicken will be tender and cheesy. Ah, so good. And check these out. Look how pretty they look. They look like a bunch of flowers on the plate. And I've got some oil here, some canola oil, which I am heating to about 350 degrees. And all you're doing is just frying them for one to one and a half minutes. They go really, really quickly. There we go. That's the kind of bubbling you're looking for. And I actually like to use tongs for this when I pick them up because I want to make sure I tilt it upside down because there's lots of little nooks and corners in there. I don't want the oil to collect there. So I pick this up and I want to make sure I put it upside down like that so I don't get big puddles of oil. Look how fun these look, right? They're like a party on a plate. Now, oh, before you eat these, you want to make sure you let them cool for a few minutes because you do not want to bite into melting hot cheese that could burn you. And I wanted to show you this guy here. So as you can see, the cheese has like exploded out of the inside. And this happens under two situations. One, you didn't cover the cheese quite well enough. Or there was not enough chicken covering the cheese. Or two, you let it fry for too long and then the cheese starts to bubble and get really hot and push its way out of the chicken. And you can tell when you're frying that this is happening because your oil is going to start growing crazy. It's just going to go bing, 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 bing. And when you hear that, immediately identify the culprit and take it out and let it go. It's a lost cause. And so just letting you know that that could happen. So now dipping sauce, two options here. I prefer having these with some sriracha and this is Thai sriracha, which is a little sweeter, a little less spicy, works really well with the saltiness of the of these purses. Or if you don't want to do spicy, you can also use this sweet chili dipping sauce, which you can find in bottles at any Asian grocery store. Or I also have a recipe if you want to make it from scratch, I'll put the link right up here, okay? But today I'm gonna go with the spicy one. Now to avoid this poking my mouth, I like to bite off the crunchy bits first, get that out of the way and then dig into the chicken. Mm. Oh, so good. Oh, the chicken is so tender. Mm. Oh, I bet you can hear how crunchy that is. The chicken is salty and rich. The cheese is a little tangy and creamy. And then with that sauce, it's spicy and sour. Wow, it is just a flavor explosion. Again, you can change up the coriander seeds and do other spices if you want. Change up the cheese. You can really have a lot of fun with these. I know some people are gonna ask whether you can use wonton wrappers. I have used wonton wrappers and they're not as good. They don't look as good, first of all. Look how beautifully golden these are. Wonton wrappers don't fry up as nice and they also don't stay as crispy as long. So I would say stick with the spring roll wrappers. So I hope you give these a try. The recipe, as always, will be on hotthaikitchen.com. If you make these for your next soiree, I would love to see a photo of them. Send them on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. If you haven't subscribed to the show, please do so you will never miss an episode. And I will see you next time for your next delicious time.